As peak hurricane season looms, the Department of Defense has announced the abrupt shutdown of a program that delivers crucial satellite data, leaving meteorologists scrambling. Starting Monday, the Pentagon will no longer accept, process, or transmit real-time data collected from three weather satellites. News Nation's Xavier Walton reports meteorologists who rely on this data are concerned. Certainly caught some people off guard, and this is uh, hard to understate, but this is a huge deal. Um, and especially when you think about this too, we're still a couple of months away from the peak of hurricane season. That's why forecasters are extremely, uh, they're extremely concerned because they're going to have, have about half of the data to actually work with, which makes it problematic when you're trying to forecast and track a storm, a hurricane in real time. So starting this upcoming Monday, June 30th, the Department of Defense is going to stop ingesting, processing, and transmitting real microwave data, real-time microwave data collected aboard three weather satellites. Meteorologists say, you know, this is going to severely impede into great hurricane forecast for this season and beyond, and as a result, impacting, you know, tens of millions of Americans who live in hurricane prone areas. Hurricane experts say without the satellite imagery, there's going to be an increased risk of a sunrise surprise, meaning, you know, when the sun goes down before it comes up, a hurricane could rapidly intensify, gain speed, perhaps become even more powerful, make landfall sooner than expected. I think are going to be cases this year when certain warnings are delayed because of this. It might mean that evacuations get delayed because of this, uh, and you could lose lives because of this. And that sounds extreme, but retired National Hurricane Center Branch Chief James Franklin underscoring the reality for forecasters and their communities, especially with a more active than average hurricane season expected. Meantime, we reached out to the Department of Defense asking, you know, why right now? The DOD sent us over to the U.S. Air Force, the Air Force sending us over to the Navy, all for comment. And at this point, we're still waiting to hear back. From Dallas, Xavier Walton, News Nation.